Good morning, my dear students. I hope you all are doing well. So, continuing with the last class, let's start today's class. So, in the last class, we uh, did complete one stanza that is of the poem A Photograph by Shirley Tolson. All right. So, I hope that uh, stanza is clear to you all. All right. Uh, once more, you please uh, see the last line of the first stanza that is, uh, please take out page number 11. That is page number 11, first stanza, last line. All right. So what it says here, please see, that is uh, washed their terribly transient feet. All right. Now, before this line, you know, the poetess gives here a reference about the sea. All right. What she says here is that the sea which appears to have changed less now through this line we come to know that the poetess gives here a reference about nature which is everlasting all right nature which is permanent nature which goes on and on all right there is no end to nature all right whereas on the other hand it also shows the temporariness of human life all right so these last two lines are actually contradictory they are contradicting with each other how because the sea whatever it says about the sea you know it is showing the permanent nature of permanent nature of the sea which is a part of nature all right whereas in the last line washed their terribly transient feet now here there refers to the three girl cousins all right here they refers to the three girl cousins so they are human beings all right so since they are human beings so what nature comes out through this line that is the temporariness of human life all right so the sea which is uh, which has washed their terribly transient feet now the feet of the human body since human itself human being itself is mortal so definitely the feet is a part of human being all right so whatever mark is shown through the feet in that sea you know so that transient feet the mark of that transient feet has been washed away by that water of the sea all right so that is what it says here so i hope this lines are clear to you all right the, the, in the first stanza the last two lines are contradicting with each other all right see the next stanza some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see betty and dolly she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both weary with the labored ease of loss now in this stanza we can feel a sense of loss that is going around in this whole stanza all right now here the poetess that is shirley tolson shows uh, what her mother used to think back then when she used to look at the photograph of her own all right so what she says here is that some 20 30 years later that means when um, her mother you know used to see at that photograph after 20 or 30 years that means when she got married all right because the photograph in that photograph whatever image is shown that is about the childhood moment of poetess's mother all right now when the poetess's mother used to look at the photograph after you know 20 or 30 years then what could be uh, the reply what could be the reaction after seeing at that snapshot of that mother that is she would laugh at the snapshot all right because whatever pictures whatever images whatever emotions and feelings that photograph was showing all right so by that emotion the poetess says here that that emotion made her mother laugh 
after 20 or 30 years all right and she used to tell everyone about her cousin sisters also so what she would say then see betty and dolly all right this is the saying of poetess's mother she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach so here poetess's mother is giving some reference about the time when she along with her girl cousins used to dress up for the beach holiday you know when they used to visit the beach holiday uh, you know during the holidays then what she would say you know they all used to dress up properly you know in their beach clothes and all all right so in that photograph also all the three girls they were wearing you know their uh, beach dresses okay and that photograph was clicked by the uncle so that is what poet says here that my mother used to recall my mother used to remember those moments that she used to spend with her cousins all right and she used to laugh at that point of time you know after seeing the photographs and uh, obviously it happens whenever we um, you know recall whenever we used to remember our past memories you know those memories tend to become nostalgic at that point of time you know two kinds of feelings we go through one is sadness and one is happiness so why happiness because you know when we recall those moments it becomes it gives us you know pleasure it gives us happiness but at the same time it also uh, becomes sad for us because we know that those past moments will never come back in our life all right so that is what it says here that her mother used to laugh seeing at the photograph and she used to say to everyone that how they used to dress up for the beach holidays the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter now this line is very important all right now in this line it showcases some kind of sense of loss that both poetess's mother and the poetess was having a sense of loss now what loss did poetess's mother felt that is the loss of her past memory all right the loss of her childhood memory when she used to spend her time with her girl cousins that is the sense of loss for poetess's mother now what could be the sense of loss for the poetess that is that laughter of her mother when she used to look at the photograph after 20 or 30 years then she used to laugh seeing at the photograph all right so that laughter now the poetess is missing because now what happens now she could no longer be able to see her mother because her mother is no more now all right her mother is dead now so what poetess is doing here she is recalling her mother's laughter when she used to look at that photograph all right so in these lines a sense of loss is being shown all right that is the sea holiday was her past her past here refers to poetess's mother's past and mine is her laughter now what thing has become a past for me that is for the poetess that is the laughter of her mother so both weary with the labored ease of loss now this line is very important last line as you also have a textual question based on this line all right a textual question is there that what is the meaning of the line both weary with the labored ease of loss so before this line as we have come to know that uh, the line showed a certain sense of loss that both the mother and poetess's mother had felt all right now after this line what she says here that both both means both the memories both the moments that is the moment of her mother and also the moment of the poetess all right so both both the moments weary with the labored ease of loss now definitely now it is a certain kind of loss that she is referring here 
now what do you mean by the labored ease now those moments were being collected those moments were being taken you know that were being gathered by a certain kind of labor that they had thrown upon you know whatever the moments they had captured that was out of their labor only isn't it so whatever moments they had captured be it uh, the moment for the mother or be it the moment for the poetess so both the moments had been taken through their labor it has you know not simply uh, come up easily or just randomly the moments had you know it did not come up randomly the moments had come up you know through their labor all right so that is what she says here yeah, that both the moments are got twisted you know under the shelter of the labor that they had done in order to capture that moment all right i hope this line is clear to you still if you have any doubt all right if you find any difficulty in understanding this line you please contact me later on all right you can message me also or you can uh, call me up also all right so see the next that is the last stanza now she has been dead nearly as many years as that girl lived now she has been dead now who is being referred here as dead that is poetess's mother all right so she has been dead now she is no more in this world nearly as many years as that girl lived you know that is the girl here refers to what that is poetess's mother she had lived for many years all right she had experienced all her moments she had uh, even she had a flashback also of her childhood memories of her childhood moments now she is dead now she is no more in this world you know after living many years in this uh, world so and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silences so we can see that the poem ends in a very silent mode why so what does it signify you know what does silence signify silence here signifies that the poetess's mother no longer lives now as she is dead all right the only thing that remained with the poetess is those memories of her mother all right those childhood memories and along with that the photograph that they had captured back then all right so for now and of this circumstance at the present being at the present time what happens there is nothing to say at all why because she is she has become nostalgic now she feels happy also looking at the photograph of her mother at the same time she feels bad and sad also why because those moments of her mother would never come back in her life all right so that is what she says here so there is nothing to say at all it silence silences that means in the whole environment all around the only thing that pertained was silence all right so in this way this poem ends with a very silent note so i hope this poem is clear to you all all right if you find any difficulty to text me up all right as i said earlier also and very soon you will be getting uh, the textual question the notes you know for this poem all right so for today let's end our class uh, we shall continue all right the class with a new chapter again in the next class all right so hope you all have a great day ahead all of you please take care and thank you very much